Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be learning how to find a limiting reactant or a limiting reagent. And although there's many different ways we can go about doing this, I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to do it. And we'll work through this example together by following these steps. So the, this example says identify a limiting reactant if a certain amount of SF4 reacts with a certain amount of I2O5 to produce IF5 and SO2. And the first step actually before we jump into those steps is to write a balanced chemical reaction. So we have SF4 plus I2O5 and that's going to produce IF5 plus SO2. Uh, when we go about balancing this we get 5 in front of here, 2, 4, and 5. And if you're having trouble balancing chemical reactions just take a look at my balancing chemical reaction video. I'll show you in detail step by step how to do, those, do that. So once we have a balanced chemical reaction, let's see, we have 4.687 grams of SF4. We have uh, 6.281 grams of I2O5. So the first step, we're going to convert the reactants in the moles by dividing by the molar mass. And we, we're going to divide by the molar mass of SF4, which is 108.07. Um, and then the molar mass of I2O5 is 333.81. Plug that into your calculator and we get the following. We get 0.0433 moles of SF4. And then for I2O5, we get 6 point, whoops, I get 0 0.0188 moles of I2O5. So that's step one. Next, we're going to take the moles and we're going to divide it by the coefficient of the reactants. So I have my moles of SF4. I'm going to divide it by the, the coefficient of SF4, which is 5. And then for the I2O5, I'm going to divide it by this coefficient, which is 2. So when I do that, I get 0 0.008687. And then for the other one, I get 0 0.0094. So that's step two. And then step three, the reactant of the smaller number is going to be limiting. So if we compare these two, this one is smaller. So that means SF4 is limiting. And that's it. We just, you just follow these three steps, and then you can find the limiting reactant. Pretty easy. And hopefully that helped. And if you like this, maybe you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, like it, subscribe to the channel because throughout the entire semester, I'll be posting videos that will help you do better in chemistry and conquer chemistry. And if you liked my teaching style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. And I'll include a link in the description below so then you can just click on it and get to the website more easily. Alright, until next time.